Achieving success on YouTube boils down to two very specific things, attracting new viewers and keeping the ones you already have. Although a lot of creators and marketers love to focus on strategizing and optimizing for finding new viewers, it's not just about growth for YouTube success. It's about building a loyal community. And it's really important that the subscribers that you do get don't turn into casual viewers, that they become loyal. But how do you know if the views on your videos and your channel are coming from these loyal subscribers? Not too long ago, YouTube released a metric that shows you exactly that. It's a metric that I absolutely love and I've been using it a lot with the channels that I manage and my coaching clients. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I like to use this metric on various different channels. So I'm gonna explain how to analyze it, but we're also gonna look at the analytics so you can see exactly how I use it to determine strategy for both growth and community building. In your audience, tab in your YouTube analytics, you can now see a graph that shows you how many of your views are coming from returning viewers or are coming from new viewers. And you can drill it down to specific periods of time. So the blue line represents new viewers and the purple represents returning viewers or people that return it within that period of time. You might look at this and be like, okay, cool, that's awesome, but now what do I do with this information, right? We already have a million and one analytics inside of the YouTube studio. Just here's another one to confuse me. <laughs> but I'm going to show you exactly what you can use with this information. There's a couple scenarios that you will find when analyzing this metric. The first is if the blue line is higher than the purple line. And what that means is that you have more new viewers to your channel. Oh, let me put that back on. How did that happen? Oh, the little thingy. No, I don't have a little thingy. What's that thingy, the ear stopper? Where was I? So what does it mean when the blue line is on top of the purple line? Your channel has more casual viewers or that it's actually attracting new viewers more so than returning viewers. And there's pros and cons to this. The pros is that YouTube is obviously pushing out your videos and you are getting exposed to new viewers. Yay, that's a really good thing. Well, it's good to see that that blue line is up there and getting views. But the cons to it is that these viewers might not be translating into subscribers or even if they are translating into subscribers, they're not coming back to watch another video. So I see this a lot in how-to channels, channels that have videos that people find through search, they get what they need and then they move on. Another situation I see this a lot is a channel or video that has recently gone viral or could have gone crazy viral. So maybe Maybe you in a situation where blue and purple line were kind of back and forth or around the same, all of a sudden, boom, you had one video go viral, maybe another video go viral, and that blue line or the number of brand new people to your channel just exploded, keeping the purple line maybe at around the same or maybe a little bit higher. And I'm gonna go into some of these examples visually so you can see what I'm talking about. But in that case, it's a situation where your channel went viral and some of those people did translate for subscribers, but a lot of them didn't. So it's not necessarily a terrible thing. It could mean something good just happened to your channel. But if you're seeing that the blue line is above the purple line consistently, time after time after time after time, and if in extending it to beyond 28 days, say to 90 days, it still looks like that's the case, then that's something that you really want to pay attention to and focus on. So the other situation that I see is the purple line is on top of the blue line. What that means is that the audience is generally pretty loyal, that you've been able to accumulate a decent number of people that tune in time and time again to your channel. It could also mean that you're maybe struggling to find new subscribers if that blue line stays pretty consistent and doesn't tend to move up at all. So the pros to that is that you have a loyal subscriber base that's tuning in frequently. That's an amazing thing. That's really, really good. But the con to that is, as I mentioned earlier, that you might not be getting exposed to new 
viewers or your channel might be stagnant when it comes to growth. So ideally, you would like to see both of the lines pretty close to each other. But most of the time, I see channels where one line is predominantly above the other. It can switch back and forth, but it seems to be the case. And we're gonna dive into a couple of scenarios right now. So to find this metric, you wanna go under your main channel analytics and then go under the audience tab. And in this case, what we can see here is that the purple line is above the blue line. And pretty consistently, the purple line is above the blue line. And I actually like to expand out to 90 days because we can see patterns that are happening. This channel has more returning viewers. And you also can see that it spikes every single time she uploads a video. The blue line is staying pretty straight. It's a little bit higher and we can even hover over it to see the number of actual viewers and returning viewers. So I kind of like to see where the numbers are at. So this is at 3,500 and then it drops a little bit to 1,800. And then, you know, 2,000, I'm looking at the blue line specifically. And then it peaks here at 25. And then here, you know, it's around 1,000, 1,500 pretty consistently. With this channel, we're working on getting videos to get pushed out more in search and be more evergreen content that can stand the test of time and get searched time and time again, as well as we're working on getting a few videos go very viral. As you can see here though, what's really great is that this creator has a very loyal audience that 51.9 thousand returning viewers are coming in for 90 days and you know if we go down to 28 days it's you know 29.4 k returning viewers which is really good because i believe that this creator has around that number of subscribers so that's really good it's great to see when the number of subscribers that you have is about the same with the returning viewers that means that you have about 29,000 um, people that are loyal to your channel looking at this particular channel it's a little bit of a different scenario so this creator does not upload as frequently as the other creators so you can see in the last creator how every time she uploaded she got a spike from her returning viewers and you can see that here where each time she's uploaded she sees a little bit of a spike and here it started off where she had new viewers so this is a case where i like to see the last 90 days and see what happened so as you can see here with this channel and i know this channel very well is that she had a video go viral and that video went viral and boom, the blue line just increased and she got a lot of new people on her channel. And with that, her purple line increased a little bit. And what I like to see is when there's a spike in the blue is I like to see a little bit of a spike with the purple, but also that the baseline has now increased. So her baseline here prior to that viral video is we're looking at 2,200, 19, 2,000, you know, a range for the baseline and it does look like after this viral video her purple line is getting higher and the baseline is getting a little bit higher so this is a really interesting scenario reflecting what I mentioned earlier about a video going viral and how that can affect the way new people are coming to your channel and also how those people are now interacting so here going back to 28 days we're now at the tail end of that viral video and it looks like the lines are gonna probably eventually get back to being right next to each other, which is which is good. So just because you see the blue line going higher, it's not a bad thing. You wanna take everything in context and know and understand what's been going on with your channel leading up to that and then what happens as a result afterwards. What's happening here with this channel in particular is exactly what I like to see is the lines kind of going back to normal, going close to each other, but I do wanna see the purple get bumped up a little bit because for a video to go that viral, you do wanna attract people that will become loyal. So here's another channel where it's a similar situation where the blue line is higher than the purple line, meaning that there's more new viewers than returning viewers. So let's look at the last 90 days. This channel also started to blow up and had many videos go viral. With these videos going viral, 
the blue line has increased significantly, but what's really great about that is that we're seeing the purple line increase with that as well. So this is exactly what I like to see. I like to see the purple line going up with the blue line and also staying up so that the baseline is now significantly higher. So it is important, I think, to look at the last 90 days. If you look at the past 365, you won't be able to get everything because since this was a new metric, YouTube, doesn't really show beyond, I believe. Yeah, looks like September. So you can see how this channel has really blown up. And then we go back to 28 days and then it looks like the lines are getting closer together, which is really great. So here's a situation where we have a channel that has a very loyal subscriber base. The blue line for new viewers is pretty consistently straight. And as you can see here, every time she releases a new video, that purple line spikes up because you're, she's getting her returning viewers to come back and check it out. So one of the things that we're really working on together is for her to create more searchable video topics. She's creating a lot of videos that she knows her audience really loves, which is why they're coming back and again and again. And she has a smaller-ish channel, but her view are very good for her channel size and she has incredible engagement on her videos. However, one of the things that we're working on together is to help grow her channel because that's something that for her, she needs to work on. So it's creating evergreen type of videos, creating videos that are searchable, creating more trendy videos. And even if we go out 90 days, it stays pretty consistent. It's just, you know, spikes along the purple. She did go through a period in December where she did Vlogmas, so she did see a little bit of a spike and we can kind of go beyond that to see. So she did see a little bit of a spike around December and it's really a spike of returning viewers, which is fantastic. Her her existing subscribers absolutely loved her Vlogmas. Uh, however, her blue line, it went up a little bit. If you look at the baseline before, it's, you know, 180, 140, 130, and it did pop up a little bit. So it did help her grow and it did increase her baseline, which I like to see. You really want to look and see what is your baseline, where you at and did making any changes to your channel like Vlogmas or a video going viral, did that help increase the baseline of whether it's your returning viewers or new viewers? Now here's another example of something very similar where this creator also has a very loyal subscriber base. And as you can see here, the purple line, which is the returning viewers, is higher than the blue line, which are the new viewers. And in my experience, in my opinion, if you, I were to have to pick which scenario I like to see. It would be something like this one or the previous one with, however, pops of blue every now and then because you do want a few videos every now and then to go viral to gain that exposure. But what you also don't want are videos to go viral and not get any new subscribers from that or you're getting new subscribers but those subscribers are not translating into loyal viewers. So I would prefer for people to grow a little bit slower and have higher returning viewers than to shoot up like crazy and not see any growth on views or returning viewers. Cause then you're constantly playing catch up. So here, this is a great scenario of her channel getting amazing engagement and a lot of returning viewers and let's kind of look at the last 90 days. So it's incredibly consistent. One of the things that we're working on together is increasing this blue line. So same strategy as I'm employing with the other channel is we are working on evergreen type content that can stand the test of time that is popular all year long. We're really looking at trending uh, viral type videos, videos that appeal to more of a mass audience. Yes, within her niche, but maybe a mass audience within her niche. So we're working on all these different things with the goal of increasing this blue line. This will help her gain new viewers. So let me know which scenario is you, is you? Which scenario are you? Are you purple? So are you getting more return viewers or are you more blue getting more new viewers? Check it out, come back, let me know what it is that you're seeing. Maybe you've never even seen this metric before and this is your first opportunity to explore it and start studying it. There we go again. I'm not even gonna bother to put this thing on. Start studying it so that you can make decisions and strategies for your channel. If you like this, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you're new because I come out with two videos analyzing and talking all about YouTube and YouTube growth on this channel. Mwah.